silence, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Begin tonight with our consent items. That includes minutes of the October 18th, 2021 regular board meeting, certification of the October 25th, 2021 executive session, minutes of the November 2nd, 2021 regular board meeting, minutes of the November 2nd, 2021 study session, and member <coughs> members minutes of the November 8th, 2021 <coughs> meeting. Board of all had a chance to look through those. Are there any additions or corrections? If not, I will entertain a motion to accept the minutes as presented. So motion by Casey. Second. Second by Kyle. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Aye. Thank you, Joe. The motion passes 5-0. Flip over, we've got our funds report. So, Todd? In October, in the education fund, we had receipts of $1,048,446.97. Expenses in October of $805,235.10. Cash balance at the end of October, $1,569,650.69. That service fund, we had receipts of $5,990.76 and expenses of $250 cash balance at the end of October. The debt service fund is $1,575,405.13. And in the operations fund, we had receipts of $6,631.85, expenses of $309,501.90. Cash balance in the operations fund, excuse me, at the end of October, $721,446.32. Thank you. Any questions, comments? I, I have a question when I was looking through this tonight. Maybe I've just missed it in the past, but I noticed on the um, operations and the debt service fund that you put um, the source of revenue for those, and I don't see that on the education fund. I just wonder why not. Uh, well, I will tell you that I, um, inherited this spreadsheet from my predecessor and she had this on here and I was, I don't know if I selected this to print, didn't select that, but I can adjust that. Just, I just was curious, nothing, nothing major. I can, I will add that in, uh, for the next month's meeting. Thank you. Any other questions? If not, I'll entertain them. Well, let's do the claims too. I'm sorry, I'm payroll. Um, so we also have approval of claims totaling $1,530,124.28. That includes approval of claims from October 31st, 2021, which is $940,219.90. And November 15th, 2021, totaling $589,904.38. And then we have payrolls from October 22nd and November 5th. The October 22nd, 2021 payroll in the amount of $341,297.67. And the November 5th, 2021 payroll in the amount of $399,550.95. So any questions from the board about any of that? Okay, if not, I will entertain a motion to approve the financial report. So, second. Motion by Kyle, second by Katie. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Aye. Thank you, Joe. Carries motion carries 5-0. Move on to student and stakeholder focus, donations. Um, we have the Rochester Community School Corporation received a donation from Kroger in the amount of $171.73 from individuals in the community using their Kroger card. Rochester Middle School 6th grade volleyball team received a donation of $80 from the Optimus Club. 
Riddle's Running Club received a donation of $281.25 from the Optimist Club. Riddle Elementary received an anonymous donation of $100 to go towards students who were unable to purchase items from the book fair to assist students so that they could participate. Riddle Elementary um, had 15 gallons of Legos donated to Riddle United by Amber Wilk, who lives in Warsaw. The Rochester Community School Corporation received a check for $610 from the Community Presbyterian Church of Rochester to assist with the backpack food program. As always, thank you so much to the donors. We have a very, very generous community that helps support our students in their school. Any questions from the board about those donations? Right. If not, I'll entertain a motion to accept them. So moved. Motion by Katie. Second. Second by Casey. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Aye. The motion carries 5 0. Then we have somebody is doing doing a lot of fall cleaning and you're welcome at my house anytime it would probably be a long list of the trash to look at. so in our board docs we have a, a long list ted do i need to read them a lot okay good um, they'll, they'll be published on the website so exactly. so trash um auction scrap, scrap and give to someone else within the corporation mm -hmm. so uh, is there anything specific you want to talk about no i i could uh, say this is the difference between a female principal and a male principal <laughs> 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 i was last in the end i got a lot of stuff to put down <laughs> <laughs> We are uh, trying to do this across the district. Cassie and her team did a really nice job of, of identifying those objects and we would recommend that the, the board approve this and then we'll ensure that it um, falls into the categories that we have suggested. My favorite was the art box that says not trash, but appears to be trash. <laughs> 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 Kind of looking at the shopping cart myself. There you go. <laughs> Being helpful in the garden. Hey, if you weren't going to give the VCRs to the high schools, like, oh boy, why not? You can't buy a VCR anymore. <laughs> um, any questions from the board? All right. If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve of the disposal, auction, or scrap of surplus items at Rochester Middle School. So moved. Motion by Casey. Second. Second by Kyle. Mm -hmm. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Aye. The motion carries 5-0. Um, this wasn't quite the same, but the, uh, <laughs> we have some buses that sure. we need to move on. So following uh, Kevin Reinhold's uh, plan, bus replacement plan that the board has approved, we have two buses um, that he spoke to Curlin about in regards to uh, trade-in value for the two new buses that would be part of the replacement plan. Curlin provided us an estimate of $950 for each of those. Kevin has received phone calls and I've received questions in regards to community members who might be interested in purchasing those buses for other items or for other purposes. Um, so I would respectfully recommend that we post this uh, on our auction site as we've done in the past with a minimum bid being the $950 so we're guaranteed that trade-in value and then anything above that um, would be helpful to the district and, and to that fund. Um, and see if we can sell them that way. If not, we, we would still have those as trade-ins uh, if needed, but I think there's enough interest out there that we can at least get the minimum trade-in value, if not some more. Okay. Any questions from the board? Okay, if not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the to auction these two buses. So moved. Motion by Katie. Second. Second by Casey. Any further discussion? Uh, all those in favor, raise your right hand. Aye. The motion carries 5-0. Okay, next, recommendation for school attorney for the 2022 year. So I did send out RFPs, request for proposals per the board's request, um, a comprehensive le uh, list of attorneys here within the community and then also a small handful of those outside of our community. Um, we did receive returns from uh, entities outside of the community. We received two um, responses from, in, from within the uh, community. 
Lauren Adley from Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, and then a decline offer from another local attorney um, thanking us for um, reaching out but declined the opportunity. Um, going through everything, looking at the cost efficiency, looking at not, momi uh, not losing momentum as far as internally within the district and some things that we're working on. And with all things uh, equal, I do believe that Lauren Adley would be my recommendation for um, us moving forward for fiscal year 2022. Um, she has proposed an hourly rate. Um, and we can look at that then moving forward, seeing uh, whether or not that's a cost savings to the district. But I'll say that she's done a lot of work from, uh, for us behind the scenes and she's been doing a really good job. Um, a Rochester grad, and I think it's important that we honor that as well when all things are equal. We need to honor those students here uh, that graduated here and are back in our community. So my uh, recommendation would be for Lauren Adley to be our school attorney for school year 2022 uh, from Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins. Any questions from the board? Okay, if not, I'll entertain a motion to approve for Lauren Adley for school attorney for the 2022 fiscal year. So moved. Second. Motion by Kyle, second by Katie. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor, raise your right hand. Aye. Motion carries five zero. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. First reading of policies. So we have two sets of policies going here, and Amber's done a wonderful job of uploading those policies on board docs, so those are available if anyone's interested um, by going to this meeting agenda and to this agenda item, and you can pull up each individual one. Um, but we have first reading of policies 3120.04, 4122.5517, 5630.04, 5630.05, 5630.06, 5630.07, 5630.08, 5630.09, 5630.10, 5630.11, 5630.12, 5630.13, 5630.14, 5630.15, 5630.16, 5630.17, 5630.18, 5630.19, 5630.20, 5630.21, 5630.22, 5630.23, 5630.24, 5630.25, 5630.26, 5630.27, 5630.28, 5630.29, 5630.30, 5630.31, 5630.32, 5630.33, 5630.34, 5630.35, 5630.36, 5630.37, 5630.38, 5630.39, 5630.40, 5630.41, 5630.42, 5630.43, 5630.44, 5630.45, 5630.46, 5630.47, 5630.48, 5630.49, 5630.50, 5630.51, 5630.52, 5630.53, 5630.54, 5630.55, 5630.56, 5630.57, 5630.58, 5630.59, 5630.60, 5630.61, 5630.62, 5630.63, 5630.64, 5630.65, 5630.66, 5630.67, 5630.68, 5630.69, 5630.70, 5630.71, 5630.72, 5630.73, 5630.74, 5630.75, 5630.76, 5630.77, 5630.78, 5630.79, 5630.80, 5630.81, 5630.82, 5630.83, 5630.84, 5630.85, 5630.86, 5630.87, 5630.88, 5630.89, 5630.90, 5630.91, 5630.92, 5630.93, 5630.94, 5630.95, 5630.96, 5630.97, 5630.98, 5630.99, 5630.10, 5630.11, 5630.12, 5630.13, 5630.14, 5630.15, 5630.16, 5630.17, 5630.18, 5630.19, 5630.20, 5630.21, 5630.22, 5630.23, 5630.34, 5630.35, 5630.36, 5630.37, 5630.38, 5630.39, 5630.40, 5630.41, 5630.42, 5630.43, 5630.44, 5630.45, 5630.46, 5630.47, 5630.48, 5630.49, 5630.50, 5630.51, 5630.52, 5630.53, 5630.54, 5630.55, 5630.56, 5630.57, 5630.58, 5630.59, 5630.60, 5630.61, 5630.62, 5630.63, 5630.64, 5630.65, 5630.66, 5630.67, 5630.68, 5630.69, 5630.70, 5630.71, 5630.72, 5630.73, 5630.74, 5630.75, 5630.76, 5630.77, 5630.78, 5630.79, 5630.80, 5630.81, 5630.82, 5630.83, 5630.84, 5630.85, 5630.86, 5630.87, 5630.88, 5630.89, 5630.90, 5630.91, 5630.92, 5630.93, 5630.94, 5630.95, 5630.96, 5630.97, 5630.98, 5630.99, 5630.10, 5630.11, 5630.12, 5630.13, 5630.14, 5630.15, 5630.16, 5630.17, 5630.18, 5630.19, 5630.20, 5630.21, 5630.22, 5630.23, 5630.34, 5630.35, 5630.36, 5630.37, 5630.38, 5630.39, 5630.40, 5630.41, 5630.42, 5630.43, 5630.44, 5630.45, 5630.46, 5630.47, 5630.48, 5630.49, 5630.50, 5630.51, 5630.52, 5630.53, 5630.54, 5630.55, 5630.56, 5630.57, 5630.58, 5630.59, 5630.60, 5630.61, 5630.62, 5630.63, 5630.64, 5630.65, 5630.66, 5630.67, 5630.68, 5630.69, 5630.70, 5630.71, 5630.72, 5630.73, 5630.74, 5630.75, 5630.76, 5630.77, 5630.78, 5630.79, 5630.80, 5630.81, 5630.82, 5630.83, 5630.84, 5630.85, 5630.86, 5630.87, 5630.88, 5630.89, 5630.90, 5630.91, 5630.92, 5630.93, 5630.94, 5630.95, 5630.96, 5630.97, 5630.98, 5630.99, 5630.10, 5630.11, 5630.12, 5630.13, 5630.14, 5630.15, 5630.16, 5630.17, 5630.18, 5630.19, 5630.20, 5630.21, 5630.22, 5630.23, 5630.34, 5630.35, 5630.36, 5630.37, 5630.38, 5630.39, 5630.40, 5630.41, 5630.42, 5630.43, 5630.44, 5630.45, 5630.46, 5630.47, 5630.48, 5630.49, 5630.50, 5630.51, 5630.52, 5630.53, 5630.54, 5630.55, 5630.56, 5630.57, 5630.58, 5630.59, 5630.60, 5630.61, 5630.62, 5630.63, 5630.64, 5630.65, 5630.66, 5630.67, 5630.68, 5630.69, 5630.70, 5630.71, 5630.72, 5630.73, 5630.74, 5630.75, 5630.76, 5630.77, 5630.78, 5630.79, 5630.80, 5630.81, 5630.82, 5630.83, 5630.84, 5630.85, 5630.86, 5630.87, 5630.88, 5630.89, 5630.90, 5630.91, 5630.92, 5630.93, 5630.94, 5630.95, 5630.96, 5630.97, 5630.98, 5630.99, 5630.10, 5630.11, 5630.12, 5630.13, 5630.14, 5630.15, 5630.16, 5630.17, 5630.18, 5630.19, 5630.20, 5630.21, 5630.22, 5630.23, 5630.34, 5630.35, 5630.36, 5630.37, 5630.38, 5630.39, 5630.40, 5630.41, 5630.42, 5630.43, 5630.44, 5630.45, 5630.46, 5630.47, 5630.48, 5630.49, 5630.50, 5630.51, 5630.52, 5630.53, 5630.54, 5630.55, 5630.56, 5630.57, 5630.58, 5630.59, 5630.60, 5630.61, 5630.62, 5630.63, 5630.64, 5630.65, 5630.66, 5630.67, 5630.68, 5630.69, 5630.70, 5630.71, 5630.72, 5630.73, 5630.74, 5630.75, 5630.76, 5630.77, 5630.78, 5630.79, 5630.80, 5630.81, 5630.82, 5630.83, 5630.84, 5630.85, 5630.86, 5630.87, 5630.88, 5630.89, 5630.90, 5630.91, 5630.92, 5630.93, 5630.94, 5630.95, 5630.96, 5630.97, 5630.98, 5630.99, 5630.10, 5630.11, 5630.12, 5630.13, 5630.14, 5630.15, 5630.16, 5630.17, 5630.18, 5630.19, 5630.20, 5630.21, 5630.22, 5630.23, 5630.34, 5630.35, 5630.36, 5630.37, 5630.38, 5630.39, 5630.40, 5630.41, 5630.42, 5630.43, 5630.44, 5630.45, 5630.46, 5630.47, 5630.48, 5630.49, 5630.50, 5630.51, 5630.52, 5630.53, 5630.54, 5630.55, 5630.56, 5630.57, 5630.58, 5630.59, 5630.60, 5630.61, 5630.62, 5630.63, 5630.64, 5630.65, 5630.66, 5630.67, 5630.68, 5630.69, 5630.70, 5630.71, 5630.72, 5630.73, 5630.74, 5630.75, 5630.76, 5630.77, 5630.78, 5630.79, 5630.80, 5630.81, 5630.82, 5630.83, 5630.84, 5630.85, 5630.86, 5630.87, 5630.88, 5630.89, 5630.90, 5630.91, 5630.92, 5630.93, 5630.94, 5630.95, 5630.96, 5630.97, 5630.98, 5630.99, 5630.10, 5630.11, 5630.12, 5630.13, 5630.14, 5630.15, 5630.16, 5630.17, 5630.18, 5630.19, 5630.20, 5630.21, 5630.22, 5630.23, 5630.34, 5630.35, 5630.36, 5630.37, 5630.38, 5630.39, 5630.40, 5630.41, 5630.42, 5630.43, 5630.44, 5630.45, 5630.46, 5630.47, 5630.48, 5630.49, 5630.50, 5630.51, 5630.52, 5630.53, 5630.54, 5630.55, 5630.56, 5630.57, 5630.58, 5630.59, 5630.60, 5630.61, 5630.62, 5630.63, 5630.64, 5630.65, 5630.66, 5630.67, 5630.68, 5630.69, 5630.70, 5630.71, 5630.72, 5630.73, 5630.74, 5630.75, 5630.76, 5630.77, 5630.78, 5630.79, 5630.80, 5630.81, 5630.82, 5630.83, 5630.84, 5630.85, 5630.86, 5630.87, 5630.88, 5630.89, 5630.90, 5630.91, 5630.92, 5630.93, 5630.94, 5630.95, 5630.96, 5630.97, 5630.98, 5630.99, 5630.10, 5630.11, 5630.12, 5630.13, 5630.14, 5630.15, 5630.16, 5630.17, 5630.18, 5630.19, 5630.20, 5630.21, 5630.22, 5630.23, 5630.34, 5630.35, 5630.36, 5630.37, 5630.38, 5630.39, 5630.40, 5630.41, 5630.42, 5630.43, 5630.44, 5630.45, 5630.46, 5630.47, 5630.48, 5630.49, 5630.50, 5630.51, 5630.52, 5630.53, 5630.54, 5630.55, 5630.56, 5630.57, 5630.58, 5630.59, 5630.60, 5630.61, 5630.62, 5630.63, 5630.64, 5630.65, 5630.66, 5630.67, 5630.68, 5630.69, 5630.70, 5630.71, 5630.72, 5630.73, 5630.74, 5630.75, 5630.76, 5630.77, 5630.78, 5630.79, 5630.80, 5630.81, 5630.82, 5630.83, 5630.84, 5630.85, 5630.86, 5630.87, 5630.88, 5630.89, 5630.90, 5630.91, 5630.92, 5630.93, 5630.94, 5630.95, 5630.96, 5630.97, 5630.98, 5630.99, 5630.10, 5630.11, 5630.12, 5630.13, 5630.14, 5630.15, 5630.16, 5630.17, 5630.18, 5630.19, 5630.20, 5630.21, 5630.22, 5630.23, 5630.34, 5630.35, 5630.36, 5630.37, 5630.38, 5630.39, 5630.40, 5630.41, 5630.42, 5630.43, 5630.44, 5630.45, 5630.46, 5630.47, 5630.48, 5630.49, 5630.50, 5630.51, 5630.52, 5630.53, 5630.54, 5630.55, 5630.56, 5630.57, 5630.58, 5630.59, 5630.60, 5630.61, 5630.62, 5630.63, 5630.64, 5630.65, 5630.66, 5630.67, 5630.68, 5630.69, 5630.70, 5630.71, 5630.72, 5630.73, 5630.74, 5630.75, 5630.76,
quarantine due to internal close contacts. Everything else would be outside or family related. At Columbia, <clears throat> excuse me, we have zero staff out positive. We have two positive students. We have one staff member who is quarantined and 21 students who are out quarantined. That would include our positive numbers. At Riddle, we have four staff out who are positive, four students who are out positive, five staff members who are quarantined, 15 students out on quarantine. That includes our four positives. How many students did you say? Uh, 15 at Riddle. Mm -hmm. At middle school, we have three positive staff members, three positive students, four staff members who were quarantined, 13 students who are out on quarantine, including the three positive students. At the high school, we have zero staff who are positive, one student who is out with a positive case, zero staff who were quarantined, 16 students out, one being a positive, one of the positive. I'm getting, I'm sorry, is this a time appropriate? Sure. I've been um, getting questions from parents uh, other than my own, um, that uh, are questioning, you know, as we revisit this and our numbers are considerably down, I tried to explain to them that that's because we're masking and that's why our quarantine numbers are down. Um, not sure uh, everybody's buying that, but um, questioning uh, as we revisit this, do we foresee any time when we are going to? rescind the mass mandate. So the administrative team and I met this afternoon, including uh, Best Dave Dahl, and you're correct in that our numbers are going down in, in part because of masking. The other concern that we talked about are, as other schools go mask optional, as I reach out to those superintendents, they are still quarantining students. So for us, um, I think that maybe it was Cassie who said um, if we were quarantined, if we had removed masks and the positive students, it would nearly double or triple the number of students we are quarantining. And at this time, uh, the administrative team recommended that we continue. This is keeping our numbers down. It's keeping us running smoothly. There was a school close to us that just had to close for a week um, due to that. However, we did say that we would like to talk about this more in depth at our December study session. At that point in time, elementary students will have had a chance to get the vaccine should they choose to get the vaccine. We'll be through some of the holidays. We'll be able to see how those numbers flux at that time, and we'll be able to, to work through um, a proposal during that study session with everybody's voice and input. On the board docs, you'll see that um, uh, Amber did a nice job of attaching our latest communication from the Indiana State Department of Health, as well as uh, some things from Dr. Box. And they are still giving us those if-then statements. If you mask up, then you're quarantined. Now, you don't need to quarantine um, unless somebody was without a mask for 15 minutes or more. Um, but they are still giving us that if-then. And Katie, I think you're exactly right. Our numbers have come down tremendously. We don't worry about uh, closing down buildings at this point in time. The other concern going uh, without mask and if we start to quarantine, even if we put parameters around those percentages, guidelines, those numbers can go up exponentially. And if they go up in critical areas, it could mean that we have to close down classrooms, buildings, transportation, those types of things. So um, with the vaccine just coming out, with our numbers where they are, uh, we would propose at least going through the December study session until we can track this a bit better. No, I, I did respond to parents that our, our goal is to keep schools open and keep kids in school. Absolutely. And that, um, you know, and, and I was getting I was getting a lot of flack. Right. From, and I, I basically said, do you want do you want your kids to not wear masks or do you want us to keep them in school? Right. Oh, keep them in school. OK. Well. And I think hopefully the documents that are attached in this will give us more information 
um, from the state departments that parents can read through and access that give a very specific criteria around those if-then statements and what the school's expectations are. I'd really like to see the stats because I was thinking about that today and of, um, I know there was one school recently that just switched over and I'd love to see their stats after about 30 days okay. to see I where, see you know, where they went on the graph, mm -hmm. you know, just are you, are you talking about Winamac? I think so, yeah. It was I think they're going to start putting a color-coded system on their website, mm -hmm. so you should be able to easily track that. But they, they mentioned something about that uh, color coding, depending upon mm -hmm. the amount of quarantine and all that positive cases. Yeah, I thought it would be really interesting to see how, where exactly they were, sure. even in just 30 days. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We can do that. Anything else to share? Related? No, I appreciate everybody's support. And as a team, we shared, you know, um, the COVID burnout, the COVID exhaustion. But at this point in time, I think that we've already covered this. Kids are in school. We're keeping schools open. We're keeping classrooms open. And, and that's um, vitally important for their education. You know, when we did our tours um, a couple of weeks ago, it Yes, it looks different than the before times, but there was still a lot of interaction and, and engagement that we saw and um, very high compliance with mask wearing too. So kudos to our staff and students. For and I, I appreciate it. I think I saw hope. I, I appreciate the teachers and what they're doing to try to help uh, separate so that kids aren't always in masks. They're becoming very creative and some of those lessons and being able to take those masks off. So I think that um, sometimes people hear mask mandate and they think it's 100% of the time when truly that is not the case. And then I would respectfully say that the students are doing a really, really nice job with it. I think sometimes as parents we worry a lot about our students and they're, they're pretty, pretty resilient and in the groove and uh, know what the expectations are. Any other questions or comments from the board? Personnel report. Personnel report. Um, the first one has been um, rescinded, so we'll start with the second. Kyle Hopkins, Columbia, Mrs. Gudeman's maternity leave, a daily rate of $140. Pay adjustments, Tristan Wilson, a stipend for the marketing video of $400. Athletic recommendations, Sarah Wilson, volunteer wrestling coach. Trevor Smith, sole sixth grade boys basketball coach, receiving the entire stipend of $1,024. Bryn Wilson, co-diving coach, receiving half the stipend of $986.50. Lindsey Barks, co-diving coach, received half the stipend of $986.50. Dylan Weaver and Bryce Abbott, both volunteer coaches for the RMS boys basketball teams. Lisa Andrews, volunteer swim and diving coach. Resignations, Lisa Andrews, Rochester High School counselor, effective November 10th, 2021. Caitlin Bohr, Columbia Instructional Assistant, effective November 11th, 2021. And Aubrey Franklin, Rochester High School Guidance Secretary, effective November 19th, 2021. Athletic re resignations, Nate Basham, sixth grade boys basketball coach, and Lisa Andrews, Rochester High School Diving Coach. Um, and a termination of Elena Deshawn, Rochester Middle School Special Needs Instructional Assistant. We have also, um, Listed at the back of the recommendations, there are Riddle ECAs and um, the Rochester Middle School's academic ECAs. Those are extracurricular assignments or activities. So at Riddle, for the CIA coach, the curriculum instruction and assessment is Jolaine Rohr, Megan McLaughlin, Alyssa Ramsey, and Joanna Johnson. High ability, Sarah Downs. Riddle music, second through fourth grade, which is a change from third through fifth grade, Jill Weaver. Riddle student. Um, and then for clubs, we have three separate clubs listed. They're listed as Club 1, 2, and then 5. Charlie Schwenk for two of them and Mindy Carroll for one. And then um, at the middle school, RMS Band, Isabel Fiumet Duranlo. Um, RMS Vocal Music Choir, 6th and 7th, Avery Gerwin. Um, also 8th, Avery Gerwin. RMS Academic Competition. For social studies, Cal Bernatus. Math, Jer 
Pio? Pio. 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 Thank you. Sorry, Chair. Um, Science, Abby Hadashell, Language Arts, Leanne Runkle, RMS Spellbowl, Leanne Runkle, RMS Geography B, Kyle Bernanis, RMS Robotics Club, Kyle Bernanis, RMS, RMS Champions Together, Dan Bailey and Nate Basham, Championship Mornings, Bryce Roberts, 5th and 7th Grade Club, which is RMS Theater Play, it's Avery Kerwin, RMS Student Council, Pam Brower, RMS Yearbook, Abby Hadashell, National Junior Honor Society, Misty Kripe, RMS Art Club, Alicia Funk, um, CIA coaches, and these will all split the stipend. Jenny Moore, Dan Bailey, Nikki Overmeyer, and Abby Hodeshell, High Ability, Sally Dunwoody, and Building Mentor, Dan Bailey. So the pay rates are not listed on these, but that is negotiated in the ECA schedule. Yeah, it's not necessarily negotiated in the ECA schedule. It's, um, it's an attachment within the ECA schedule that everybody agrees to. Okay. So it's in the collective bargaining Correct. agreement, but it's That's not bargained. Not. Correct. Okay. All right. Any additions or corrections to that? Do you want to pull Did you want to pull out? Megan yeah. out? Okay. Yeah. So would you like to vote on everybody else first? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I will um, entertain a motion to approve the personnel report except for Megan McLaughlin. So moved. Second. Motion by Casey, second by Katie. Any further discussion? Those in favor, please raise your right hand. Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Okay, and then now Megan McLaughlin as the CIA coach at Riddle. So moved. Motion by Katie. Second. Second by Casey. All those in favor? Aye. So four in favor and one abstention. Okay, motion carries. We have a couple of overnight field trip requests. We'll start with wrestling. So Mr. Gard has uh, put in a request for an overnight field trip for a ladies tournament. His la the ladies portion of his team is really starting to grow. He has done overnight um, tournaments with the gentlemen's team. This is a request to travel with the ladies team. He has. Um, a uh, female uh, coach on board with him that would travel with the girls team and it's a recommendation that we allow these ladies to compete at this tournament. I think it will be the first solely women's tournament that we've engaged in. How many women are on the team? Six. Six? And they'll have to leave at 4 a.m. if they don't go the night before. So that's why they're doing overnight. His way ends at 7.30 in the morning. Wow. That's awesome. It's a that's testament great. to the growth of the program. Oh, it says right here, if I just went to page two, <laughs> six students, it's on the sheet. <laughs> Any other questions? I entertain a motion to approve the overnight field trip for the ladies wrestling tournament. So moved. Motion second. by Kyle, okay, second by Casey. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. All right. Thank you. Motion carries five zero. And now National Junior Honor Society. So this is a field trip that uh, had become uh, a standard field trip pre-COVID for our students in National Junior Honor Society. Um, obviously when COVID hit, this field trip went on hold. Um, and I'll lean heavily on Oscar and Cassie if there are any questions. The differential for this year's field trip is we would like to recommend taking those students um, from both the eighth grade class and the ninth grade class who are interested since ninth grade didn't have that opportunity due to COVID. Um, I know that Misty Kripe has been working behind the scenes to make sure that she has secured um, enough supervision and I have no doubt that people are going to step up and help should we have that larger number of students. Um, but the, the field trip in the past has been um, well received and, and well done and I think that the kids learn a lot and have a good time doing that. Uh, the differential this year would be to take two grade levels to try to make up three, three grade levels. Is it three now? Okay. Well, the sophomores, there were only two kids that are interested and there were about, uh, what is it, 30 freshmen that are interested and then all 20 of our eighth graders are interested, so. Thank you. Um, I know it's, it's hard to make these kinds of plans because of the time that we're living in, but I also know that it's kind of a, a decent financial 
chunk of money. So what has been, what's the look, outlook for that, for students to be able to go? Have there been fun, are they gonna be able to fundraise in time? I mean, As of right now, I know they've had two meetings and at least one Zoom meeting. And so I think they've started that process. I think they're really waiting to start that process till after tonight, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all those that are interested are clear on what the price is, and it is on them, not us. To, for What's that. it cost to go now? Twelve hundred dollars. Well, that's an estimate, but with our number of sixty-five to seventy, it'll probably be under a thousand for a week. A week, Five three, days. four days. Just a few days. If you're interested, I can get you on the shop for a little bit. Bus ride's great. Trust me. <laughs> I mean, price of gas and everything. I mean. Price of everything now. And that's food. And yeah, yeah, that's everything. Your hotel, everything. Lodging. It's a great trip. Hopefully, we're still doing it. I'll have a kid there one day, maybe. Yeah. I'll we'll walk till then. <laughs> Thank you for helping. You might want to fly. Like, I always say, I will fly. I will yeah. be there. Yeah. <laughs> that's not really. Look. Is it a Greyhound bus? It's not like a school bus, so it's, no, like, it's, it's a, a comfortable bus, yeah, right? It's, it's all right. I mean, if they're so oh, sad. Better than a school bus. Well, yes. I guess it's whatever we're creating against. <laughs> um, do and so they understand um, when payments I have to. I'm just thinking back of when we did this, and like I think it was December, the payments had to be made, but they may be more flexible with that in COVID times. And I know they were superb about when the kids could not go. The company worldwide that we use were superb about refunding. Okay, this sign up says by October 31st, but I'm assuming it that's. It changes. Yeah, okay. They roll with it, and they've always had a really nice uh, refund policy that's laid out in dates, and then when things did happen, they worked with us really well. Okay. That's good to know. Any other questions? What are the, the kids that can't afford it? Is there something for them? There's things. Good. Right. They have their own program within World Strides that gives scholarships. Yeah. Plus, the school has people that don't need Good. Okay. Okay, well, if no more questions, then I'll uh, entertain a motion to approve the National Junior Honor Society trip to Washington, D.C. So moved. Motion by Katie. Second. Second by Casey. Any other further discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. <clears throat> Aye. Thank you. Five, zero, approved. There's no superintendent's business on here. You know how I do business. <laughs> I didn't catch that when we were going. Sorry. We <laughs> have it. So I've asked the principals to report out um, something exciting since the last meeting that we've had that you would like to share with the board and with the community. And then something that you were working on behind the scenes that uh, you would like my support with, the board support with as you engage in that endeavor. So, Oscar, if you'd like to go first, something exciting that you would like to share, and then. Um, First thing was we only had one positive COVID case, so my staff needs recognized for their efforts in uh, enforcing all that and doing what they're doing to keep the kids and themselves healthy, so I appreciate that. Um, something exciting is this Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m., we'd like to pack the new auditorium for our play. Uh, the students are in full dress rehearsal today. It was awesome to see them in their uh, outfits and and how excited they were for that. So we'd love for the community to come out and support that. Uh, something that we have going on behind the scenes, I guess I just am gonna to continue to focus on our communication, our development of uh, helping our students who may be struggling academically and getting teacher and staff buy-in and doing uh, all those things. And uh, slowly but surely we're getting more conversations in those meetings. We're getting more buy-in from the teachers, better communication, positive out opening those lines of communication with all of our stakeholders. So that's something I know Jan has always supported. Um, I want to thank you guys since the last time we stood up here for everything that you've been doing for us as well. You came into the building, got to check some things out, uh, see some things, so we truly appreciate that as uh, we move forward as well. I don't know if you've got any questions about anything we have going on or if you need complimentary tickets, I can get you in the door probably Friday or Saturday too. So. What's right. the play? Radium Girls. Radium Girls. Yes. Where can people get tickets if anyone? 
Uh, on social media, it tells you in detail. I can <laughs> exactly at, the at the door, they're ten dollars. I know that much, but I think you can pre-buy too. So Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie, something exciting since the last meeting and something you're working on and any help we might be able to provide? Uh, a couple exciting things. We had our first Champions Together event, um, which is some student leaders in the building working with some special needs students and um, our life skills program at the high school. They came down and all had a fun time in the gym meeting to know each other a little bit and just be in their first meeting. They are planning another event here in um, December and they're gonna all go bowling. So that's very exciting for them and always fun to attend. Um, you all are welcome to attend as well if you'd like. Uh, another exciting thing is we had our first after school activity for five through seven. It was a fall costume party dance and it was very well attended. It was a nice little fundraiser for our PBIS program and the kids really had a blast. I was uh, a bit apprehensive about the costumes myself, but it went well, <laughs> so kudos to them for um, wanting to do it and and the kids had a great time um, working on not so much behind the scenes we just publicly announced it today but our annual etiquette luncheon is coming up we're planning that for December 20th um, you all have been invited so a way you can help is to show up and participate with us and meet some great kids and have some good conversations so everyone is very excited to bring that back since we haven't been able to do that during COVID. Any that's all I have? Cassie, explain what Champions Together is, just because I've not heard it. Sure. So any student that wants to sign up for it can sign up. And it's a group of 5th through 7th grade. Um, and I know they have it at the high school, too. I'm not sure if it's 8 through 12 or how far it goes. But they work hand in hand with our special needs population. They get together. They do events. They become friends. We've had uh, baseball games. We've had basketball games. We've done dodgeball, volleyball different things like that to get them together. This first time we met, we just had them come to the gym and they did some activities during an adaptive PE class with Mr. Roberts and some of the adult sponsors and lots of kids. So Katie, behind the scenes, some of the roots of that is it's um, kind of like a marriage between IHSAA and Special Olympics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you grow the program to an extent, then there are other schools um, that you can go and compete against. And then there are rules in regards to um, how we the teams are formed, mm -hmm. um, those types of things. And so there are, uh, hopefully we reach that level that it's competitive in nature with other school systems and we can do that. Um, Cassie has one of the banner schools as well, so that's yes. something that not every school reaches. That's great. So to do that, we fundraise and we give that to Special Olympics and they um, give us a banner. We have to have post events and things like that to remain a banner school. That's great. great. Sounds yeah. like a wonderful program. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Lots of great comments on the costume party, too. They of, loved it. Lots they of did. thumbs up. We had a great time. <laughs> Thank you, Cassie. Luke, something exciting since the last meeting and something you're working on? Yes. Uh, last week we had our book fair at Riddle Elementary, which was really nice. We got to, it's kind of one of those things like Cassie was talking about as far as having the dance seem normalcy. So we had it in person. Parents were able to come uh, after school one night on Thursday. It was very successful, so a shout out to Mrs. Thomas, our media specialist. It was her first year putting that on, and she did a fabulous job with that. So that's our exciting thing that happened. Uh, a couple of things we're working on, as with everybody, uh, math book adoption. So we will be seeking a school board member's help with that come in the spring semester. And we're starting preliminary talks of one school, one book again. So hopefully we'll be able to launch that and maybe do some in-person events as well. So kind of fingers crossed on that, but we, we want to get that going again too. Any questions or anything else? I lost focus. What was the exciting thing? <laughs> We've got the exciting thing where we have one school, one book. Okay. We're, we're trying to get launched again going this year. We had the book fair. And we're talking math adoption. Didn't I just oh, see a birthday exciting. for you on Facebook? Didn't yes, I'm older now, so uh -huh. the focus is. Yeah. I just remember <laughs> after 50, it's all Nathan's well, right here. I'm a major speed limit now. So. <laughs> okay, uh, some of the exciting things going on at Columbia. Uh, we try to make every day an exciting day at Columbia. And uh, if you don't believe us, come hang out at our car line at the very beginning of the day. Our, <laughs> our ladies do a fantastic job. Of welcoming, greeting our kids. Um, 
I tell them one of their primary focuses every morning is to build relationships with the parents and the students. And they do a great job of that. So um, that's something that may not seem very exciting, um, but it's something that I see every day and our staff do a great job on it. Uh, Samantha Butler was awarded uh, this year's Military Quilt of Valor um, up at the courthouse during the Veterans Day ceremony. That is a very special award uh, given to somebody that has been impacted uh, by war. And uh, for those of you that don't know her service record, uh, she was in the Gulf War and is a, was a combat medic uh, during that time. Very well deserved. Uh, the community uh, is the one that, uh, that awarded her with that. Uh, but, um, that wasn't a school award, but she works for us, and we're very proud of her for that. Uh, and then a couple other exciting things. Uh, we talked about the uh, Veterans Day program that we had and uh, how we had the uh, high school Manitou as a part of that. Uh, it was a fantastic uh, event, fantastic night. Uh, very proud of the students. Um, I think they did a fantastic job with uh, just you know preparing and, and trying to do it with the the masks and I mean all the regulations we, we took them off so they could sing but um, it, it was our first uh, I know we you guys talked about your first event back in the schools that was kind of our first one we were going to do it at the courthouse but the weather didn't cooperate um, Jill Weaver and McMillan did a fantastic job as well so uh, that was that was a, a very exciting thing I would say I mean we've got uh, roller skating going on for our students a uh, very good hand-eye coordination activity that we've got uh, going on in our PE classes. Uh, and we've got, um, we always do a Polar Express activity uh, towards uh, the holidays, and that'll be next month. Uh, and I think we're gonna do it a little bigger this year. So uh, a lot of exciting things going on. We're gonna be at the one thing behind the scenes that I would uh, kind of point out, and because I know you guys probably had a lot of time to delve into that data that I've provided for you in the walkthrough. <laughs> but um, our data, uh, as we projected and as we anticipated due to COVID, um, has our students behind uh, in, in areas um, along with the rest of the country. Uh, and um, if, if you haven't seen data on that, um, you might look, look into it some because it's, uh, it's happening across the country. So behind the scenes, um, we are trying to catch our students up and uh, address the needs of where they're at and try to make up more than one year's growth if possible uh, to try to get them up to where they need to be and that's a, a big focus that we've got we see it all the way down to the preschool the preschool is primarily um, social emotional levels are um, behind a little bit just from the fact that they've spent a year basically at their houses and stuff before they came into the building and so we're seeing it at, at every level but that's what we got going on any questions for Casey? And then if I may, before we conclude this evening, I want to thank Amber for her behind the scenes work and I want to thank the board for their patience with um, agenda. We're trying to add more information, uh, trying to find uh, Amber's group, my group, the board's group and, and those expectations, but she's doing a great job behind the scenes when you consider the learning curve that's going on in uh, Computrol, which isn't an easy program to learn and, and catching us up and keeping us up. So I want to thank everybody for their support of Amber and the crew over there. She continues her learning curve and knock on wood, you haven't crashed Computrol this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's just Monday. I will tell you, uh, we back up our systems religiously every night now. <laughs> but, uh, I, do, I do appreciate the work that she's doing. And Todd's helping along and, and trying to move forward. Okay. I just need to talk right. Exactly. So, thank you all for your help and support of Amber. She continues to learn and grow. And she's doing a great job. She's she got is. the worst job out of all of us. I told her she had ten people proofreading everything she did, and that's just <laughs> awful. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> she's fantastic. She has somebody sending her stuff that's wrong that I don't even know. The, very quickly, the funny thing is that the first two times she posted, um, our power went out. And we were convinced the first two times that there was something going on with our system and the power and everything else, and then later learned that there were tests going on behind the scenes and everything, but poor Amber was having a complex about the timing of those things going out, so. She told me if it happens again, we're going to investigate. <laughs> oh, any other comments or questions from the board? 
Thank you all for coming out tonight. Um, do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Madam Katie. Thanks. Thank you all. There you go, Jason. It's right here. I study it religiously. <laughs> yeah, let me just take on that. Right there it is. Hey, Jason, I want to ask you a question if I may. No. No. <laughs> 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 <laughs>